Dean, thanks for joining me once again. Uh, how have the players come through uh, the, the, the weekend training? Yeah, it's been um, tricky because of obviously you know, a lot of testing going on in the sense of uh, lateral flow tests, some positive, some negative. Then you've got to do a PCR test, can't integrate with the group. Players' family members testing positive for COVID. So it's been a mixed bag, really. Um, and it's probably like that at most football clubs in the National League, to be totally honest with you. So it's, uh, we're all thinking of everyone's health. It's the first concern, first and foremost. And really, football comes secondary um, in these kind of scenarios and situations. I mean, narrow defeats in, in our last two matches. How, how do we respond to that? Well, let's see if the game's going to be on. You know, that's the big question. If I'm being honest, I'm just taking it one day at a time. So from a managerial point of view and a coaching point of view, you can only take it one game, uh, one day at a time in these kind of situations. Um, yesterday, we two lads couldn't train. They did a lateral flow test. They've both come back negative. Um, so today we're off. Um, I know this is going to go out a little bit later in the week and that, but um, and we'll see who's available come Thursday morning for training and Friday morning, and then we're off. Obviously, Christmas Day, and we're back in. Hopefully, the game will be on. Um, but the way it's looking at the minute, I, I've got there's a lot of doubt about the game against Bournemouth. I mean, you mentioned it there. If the game if the game does go ahead, then uh, it w- I'm sure it'll be a tough test, as, as as we know it was uh, last week and, and in the FA Cup. Yeah, just on team selection for days like that, like you can't really make any selections. You can't. All we can do is go through what you know what we think it might happen, and it's trying to predict the future, which is very difficult. Um, you know, it's like Jamie Torley is due back, uh, Mason Bluefield is due back, um, both from COVID isolations. So is Daniel Powell. They're all due back for the Boxing Day game. You know, but anything can happen within that period. Like I say, I think it was Ben Everton Richard yesterday and Eamon Aziz yesterday. We both did lateral flow tests, not feeling unwell. Um, one has a member, one of the lads has a member in the family that's got COVID, so they have to isolate. So, where they live in the same property. So, yeah, we want to bounce back, but we just want some kind of normality as soon as possible. Um, it's hard really to talk about tactics and stuff like that. All I can say is just reflecting on back on the last game. Um, I've got bits of news on that. Michi Blundell's red card has been rescinded. We appealed it. It was rescinded instantly. Uh, so it's been torn round. And I thought big moments in the game didn't go for us. Um, you know, we showed a lot of character. First half, we started really well. Boreham would manage to get themselves 2 1 up. Um, they were given a penalty. It's never a penalty. Everyone could see in the highlights. Um, so frustrating. Then we showed character to get ourselves back to 2 all, and there was a huge incident in the game where Rob Hall is fouled by Foyfield. It's the clearest penalty you've ever seen in your life. I don't know if it's on the highlights or not, if you edit that or not. And um, that's a big moment that's right before half time. And then the 56th minute, we get given a red card for nothing, for absolutely nothing. I don't know, I don't understand the fabrication from the referee because it's a fabrication. It's He's just made it up that Mitch has done something, foil and conduct. So I'm glad we've had an appeal go our way. Um, so yeah, and then obviously the red card, the painy late in the game, where we still stayed in the game, we showed character, it wasn't like Boreham were knocking on the door, we had to play 25 minutes basically, with um, with 10 men, and then we had to play about 4 or 5 minutes with uh, with 9 men, and we showed a lot of character, a lot of character, um, and we're just sort of on them boat performances, the first half performance could have been better defensively, that's the big issue I had, and I did that post-match with you. Um, but once again, our supporters clapped us off at the end of the game, and that shows you, you know, how much togetherness we've got now. And I thank them for that because the positive support is so important. Um, and really, the rage from our supporters towards the referee said it all, and they were right; they were correct to do that. In Christmas is, is naturally a busy period in, in football, and how, how, how's it going to affect us and uh, the rest of the recovery process over the next couple of weeks? Given the fact we've also got players coming back from uh, from illness. Yeah, personally, I love Christmas. I love football. Christmas I meant to play twenty eight. Usually, I played more back when I played. It was more. It was probably about six games around the Christmas period. Um, so yeah, I love it. Uh, games on the telly, loads going on, but we don't know how consistent it's going to be this Christmas. To be totally honest with you, so. Um, yeah, look, I, th- I feel I think if nothing happens in South End's camp, I think that game will be on. Um, I hope that game's on. It'll be a great, a great game. There'll be a bumper crowd at us. So, you know, let's just keep taking it one game at a time and uh, on one day at a time as well, and uh, and see what it takes us. I mean, aside from the match, we've recently announced that uh, Rob Rob Hall's had his uh, contract extended. How, how pleased are you to get that over the line? Yeah, delighted. Yeah, Rob's a good player. You know, um, he's got loads of ability. He's shown that in the, in the last few games. I thought he was outstanding Saturday, if not man of the match. Um, what I like about Rob, he's brave. He always wants the ball, and that's bravery for me. Always available for the ball. 
Um, he's like a little flyweight, isn't he, in the boxing divisions, you know. But he's uh, he's got great ability, uh, low centre gravity, can you know dribble with the ball, has vision, played a great pass for Wes's goal, scored and set one up Saturday. So he's making big impacts on the game, and that's what we need from him. And just finally, I'm sure you'd like to take this opportunity to, to wish our supporters a, a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Yeah, I wish everybody a, a very Merry Christmas, definitely, and a, and a healthy Christmas as well. I think that's so important. There's going to be a lot of people probably lonely this Christmas, you know, probably isolating or whatever. So I talk to with you guys, and uh, hopefully you can be with your families and have a, a really nice Christmas. Thanks for your time. Cheers.